Welcome to the latest edition of this news here at LonghornStation.com. I'm Mod Brooks. I'm John Madani. We are the Wake Up Call weekday mornings at 6 a.m. What a busy weekend it was. I know Ahmad and I were both out at UFCU Dish Falk Field. We both made our way to the Cedar Park Center. We both saw a lot of NBA Finals action. And we both saw the report about Vince Young. Mm. Don't do the upside-down hook em horns to a man at 3.30 in the morning when he's not feeling good. What's wrong with Vince Young? You know, John, this story here, um, in all fairness to, to the people involved, uh, I, I kind of find it humorous. And I think part of it is that the, the gentleman who reportedly, and according to the video surveillance, you know, put the horns down, he's from Oklahoma, and I would assume he's an Oklahoma fan. You know, mm -hmm. and Vince didn't look like he was even making a comment to the man. The man intentionally came out and put the horns down. I've never understood why people from OU and A&M use the Longhorn. It's kind of like, be proud of your own sign. I've never understood why they have an upside-down Longhorn or a horn with uh, the, the horn sawed off. Don't get it. I just think, uh, you know, one, Texas doesn't do that kind of stuff. I mean, we just don't believe it. And then Vince Young, I mean, boy, did he throw, <laughs> boy, did he throw a haymaker on that guy. He was not very happy. I don't know what was said. But Vince Young was a little upset. It'll cost Vince a little bit of money. You know, he'll have to pay. There may be a civil suit or something like that. He'll probably have to write a check. But you know what? I bet Longhorn fans would love to pitch in about five dollars each and say you should have hit him harder. <laughs> we'll help you pay that freight. At any rate, I'll start. I'll start that. Yeah, right. <laughs> the NBA Finals last night. We knew it was going to be a great series, and it is. Five games in the books, which is two games left. The Celtics with the three-two series lead, heading back to Staples Center tomorrow night. Game six, game seven, if needed. Thursday night at Staples Center. Uh, was there one thing about last night's game that surprised you more than anything else? Yeah, I, I definitely, I, th there was. The fact that uh, the Lakers role players, they, they didn't play any defense, and that's including Kobe Bryant as well. He got taken to the hole a couple times too. But he played great offensively. And the Laker players shot 35% from the field on a night where the Boston Celtics had their best shooting performance, uh, one of them, of this playoff series run that they're on. They shot 56%, 60% in the first half. And I think you mentioned during one streak they shot 65%. Uh, they were amazing. And they played great defense. They held the Lakers under 90 points. you got to give them credit. Um, I don't want to take away the Celtics' Uh, their ability to, 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 to choke out the Lakers like they have these last two games. But I think the Lakers are right where they expect it to be. You have game six, you have game seven. If you win those two games, you're the NBA champs on your home court. If you can go back and return the favor, they've only lost one game. It happens to be to the Boston Celtics. I think uh, the one thing that will be um, important to watch will be the play of Andrew Bynum and the play of Lamar Odom. Can those two guys give uh, the superstar Kobe Bryant the minutes and the production he needs in order to, to carry them through to another championship? And maybe we'll find out why Shannon Brown didn't play at all. Wow. Didn't play a lick in the game. Didn't really get that information, but we'll see what happens there. Celtics were playing well. That was the last game of the year at TD Bank North Garden. Mm -hmm. We'll see how they play out at Staples Center, which, by the way, was the site that they won it two years ago. Sure. Boston Celtics have never been beaten in NBA Finals mm -hmm. when they have a 3-2 series lead. History, perhaps, for the Lakers. Yep. Join us tomorrow on the Wake Up Call. It's a Top 5 Tuesday. We will review... The five reasons why Texas and the Big 12 should stay right where they are versus the five reasons why there are greener pastures elsewhere for the university and why Texas should consider going somewhere else. Lots of stuff to see here at LonghornStation.com. Go to the contest page. Check out all the videos and blogs and everything else. We'll see you tomorrow morning 6 a.m. on AM 1300 The Zone.